falling down. down. It's the Jolly Old Jazz Show. With everybody screaming Jesus. Holy crap. John Show on DFWI Radio. First of all, let's say a big thanks to Pearl Jones in the building. We show love, Pearl Jones. Happy Mother's Day, Pearl. Yeah, what up, Pearl? Y'all say happy Mother's Day, Pearl. Happy Happy Mother's Mother's Day, Day, Pearl. Pearl. (laughs) (laughs) But make sure them boys get you something special tomorrow. That's right. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Happy Mother's Day to everybody. All right, man. Listen, that song you just played, man. That was that sound like a love song, man. About uh, you know some, some something going on with man, you. That was hot. You fell in love or something, did you? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. You know, you know, Mr. Johnson. I'm a, I'm a man, you know, yeah. and uh, I'm in a committed relationship, and yeah. I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm excited about that. Yeah. You know? I'm talking about I just about wanted it. to represent that. You yeah. Because a lot of times, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, inspirational artists, and we 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 sometimes we stray away from those kind of songs. You know, because it's un- unfamiliar. Yeah. You know, but I just wanted to represent and uh, express the love that a man and woman shares. You know what? You were off the air. Uh, KB was asking you some questions. You know, KB. You know, he's the one that breaks into people's dressing rooms and get their fruit. You know, Sir, the I'll green rooms. But that. he, uh, chicken. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put that out. Uh, so, 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 so uh, y'all beware of uh, KB. He will, he will be in your dressing room. KB, pass security. Uh, eating your chicken and drinking your soda pop. Uh, but he asked you a question. Mm-hmm. That I, re- I really want you to share this on air, but you know, you were talking about you know, one, of the, one of your the song that touches you the most, which is Greatest Love of All. Mm-hmm, the Greatest Love. The Greatest Love is a song. Are we going to play that before we leave here today? Absolutely. All right. The Greatest Love is a song that touches you the most, and you were telling us about what that song was about, man. Mm-hmm, so yeah. tell me, come on, share that testimony, man. Well, you know, I haven't always been, uh, I've made a lot of mistakes in my marriage. You know, I haven't always been the best husband. Uh, and. As a result, those decisions that I made, those bad decisions that I made, the consequence was, you know, the separation of me and my wife. Mm -hmm. And during that separation, you know, you you ever heard that saying, you never miss a good thing till it's gone? Mm -hmm. Well, during that separation, I became uh, aware that I had just lost the greatest love I've ever known and the greatest woman that I've ever known. And it hurt. You mm-hmm. know, it hurt to know that you made that kind of mistake. Uh, that was a, a a mistake of that magnitude is detrimental, can be detrimental to your life mm-hmm. and damaging and crippling. And, you know, I was damaged and crippled and all that. And so that song is just expressing how I felt during that season where we we were separated. But praise the Lord, we're back together. Yeah. We've been, hey, we've can, been I, strong can, I, for, can I interject something, we've been, man? We've been strong for back for some years now. Uh-oh. Yeah. A mistake is something you can't correct, but an error is. Okay. So you made an error. What was my error? It was that you left the greatest love. Exactly. Yeah, you, you didn't make no mistake. Yeah, that was an error. <laughs> oh, all right. I got you. Yeah, you know, that's, make, that's Wiz. Wiz yeah, always yeah, has to put that no philosophy mistake. on top of stuff. You just made an error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a huge error. Error in judgment, that's all that was. Yeah, that was a huge <laughs> error. Huge, huge. It, it, you know, and well, if it wasn't for the love that I had for, you know, to win her heart back, the, you know, for my wife. Yeah. That played a big part of me coming out of my addiction as well. You know, that yeah. love yeah. that I had for her and wanting to make my wrongs right. I Man, what does it what does it feel like? Because uh, you know, she clearly being here today clearly says that she wants to stick with you. Mm-hmm. So you know, her going through what well, what was something she said to you? Mm-hmm. You know, during those tough times, man, you might not have been listening to during that time, but she would say it anyway, and it and it showed that commitment that she had. Because you know, women need to hear this, man. She told me one time I was I was balled up and I was I was I was crying and and I was so depressed at you know because i had spent all the money had been gone for a few days and you know i came home and and she didn't put you out yet uh, not at this point not keep, at this keep in mind real men do cry they yeah. ball up sometimes yeah. so let's, yeah. let's clarify yeah. oh he said he was gone for three days yeah but he said okay. he balled up and so he, he I cried spent, oh, okay. real you man know, do two that. or three okay. days something like that you know because mm-hmm. i was out on the bench you know mm-hmm. but uh she looked at me she opened the door and when I was laying down and she came on top of me and she said, you know, if you lost both of your legs, I'd love you. Wow. If wow. you lost your vision, I'd love you. If you couldn't use the bathroom on your own, I'd change your diapers. Wow. wow. Waterproof stuff right here. Your wife said that? Yeah, she did. And she said, and I love you no matter what. 
Man, you know, that's and my gappy love right there. Man. That kind of love can, can 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 bring a person out of darkness. Yeah, that's God. God yeah. is love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You probably got a tear over there. He, are you over there crying? Doc, that ain't that. No, oh, that's but that's heavy though. That's something. That's that heavy though, that man. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that. Like just tear up. Yeah, but ain't that. That's, that's not conditional love, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and she'd have loved them on, uh, based on condition, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't. Have we been. wouldn't be here. Yeah, but she got that goppy love, man. Yeah. Was, hey, she looked at you and told you that, man. She man. said if you couldn't go to the restaurant, she'd change your pants. That was a large speaking. Do you me. understand what did you say? <laughs> yeah, like, I did. I, Hey, what? Did, Boy, Why you ain't bring her to this interview? <laughs> you know, she had, she had been to take care of at the house. <laughs> you might have to call her, baby. Man, you know? can, can, I'm going to call up here. I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> That's heavy, man. All right, well, listen, can we, what we playing? Let's play something real quick. We got to wipe our tears. We about yeah. to cry. We about to cry up here. It's the Antonio John Show. Governor Reese, I'm telling you, this ought to be blessing you more than you love. know. This is an awesome interview. The testimony of this brother is amazing. I'm looking forward to hearing so much about you, man. I, I really am, man. You're a blessed brother. Thanks. So. Yeah, you got us in here tearing up, man. Brandon, don't cry. God is love. He recruit football player. Love will make you do that. What's up?